that the laundry will turn all our skin green. That's terrible. What? Green goes with nothing. Sounds to me like another one of those urban legends. Urban what? Urban legends. Those are stories told as facts that are simply untrue. But they're usually so deliciously scary, they're impossible to ignore. So, what are you saying? We bring our own detergent? I'm saying ignore the laundry story. It isn't true. I've never heard of this legend stuff, Lana. There are plenty of them. Like, how about monsters living under the bed? They do? They don't. Or how about the big white rabbit that lives in the Freeborn subway system? That one's true. My Uncle Gustav used to rock me to sleep with that story. No, that's an urban legend. Uncle Gustav. Think about it, New. We don't even have a subway system. Do we? Or my favorite, bubblegum on the water slide. <laughs> that one's a joke. No, that one's true. And if I ever catch the joker who did it, he'll be very sorry. You want more? Well, there's ghosts in the mirror, spy cameras in your TV sets, itsy bitsy oh. snakes in your jacket lining. Stop! I don't want to hear any more! Well, ignorance is the urban legend's best friend. So where do we fit in? Lana's saying that the dumber you are, the more likely you are to fall for anything. Truth is, when it comes to myths, most people find it easier just to forget about them. Consider them forgotten. Done. No problem. I'm sorry. What were we talking about? <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. Do not microwave. How else do you make popcorn? Turn off the TV. What? Why? You heard Lana. Every TV set has a spy camera that watches you. <laughs> Besides, Lana told us to forget all that stuff. I can't forget. Remember, Lana also said there are lots of urban legends. How can they all be myths? Good point. We'd better talk to the others. The only way things are going to return to normal around here is if we do something about these urban legends. You're right. I think we have to prove each urban legend false, one at a time. Where would we start? Uh, that monster under the bed legend really got to me. But you don't sleep in a bed. Phew, what a relief. We don't know what we're up against, so we must turn to a source we can trust, an unimpeachable provider of all the facts. The tabloids? No, the net. Another lie, courtesy of Uncle Gustav. Pitcher's got a rubber arm. Mark McGuire, eat your heart out. Here it is, fresh off the net. A list of urban legends. Some of these are pretty scary. Yeah, like that 
ghost in the mirror thing. Well then, that's where we'll start. Okay, it says here that if we repeat the name Benny Baloney three times, a ghost of the famous chef will appear in the mirror. Wait a minute, what's this ghost doing stuck in the mirror? That legend I know. Baloney had a hit show until his souffle collapsed on live TV. Critics lambasted him. He blamed everyone but himself. After the show was canceled, he swore revenge. Chefs are so temperamental. Legend has it that he must spend eternity facing his public. Okay, let's get this over with. Benny Baloney! Benny Baloney! Benny Baloney! Nothing's happening. Lana was right. These are absurd. So, what's next on the list, Dodo? You ungrateful mob! There's your fruit salad! <laughs> Poor Tito. I must have really dinged it that time. Oh, don't know my own strength. Catchy. Another freeborn urban legend is the ravenous man-eating pawn clam, also known as Pithecus spiferino. Wish I had a cool name like that. We know what we have to do. What? The water was surprisingly wet. Whoa! <laughs> Clams! Something's fighting me! Ouch! The urban legend's true! <laughs> That's so funny! Clams don't have teeth! We were ridiculous! What was I thinking? Man-eating clams! <laughs> what a joke! What a relief! What are we looking for now? The end of the Earth! Supposed to be right around here! But we've been walking for hours! Come on, New! The Earth isn't flat! We all know that! I think it's safe to say the Earth is round. Another urban legend debunked. I guess poor Tito can't find the ball. <laughs> Sorry, little guy, but that's what you get for playing ball with a home run hitter. Urban legends. Ha <laughs> ha, what a joke. I think we've seen enough to call it quits. Only a fool would believe any of that stuff now. And we're no fools. We know our ABGs. Gee, guys, wait a minute. How about this one? You know, the one about the bunny set free in the subway system? The one about the rabbit that is growing under the ground to ridiculous proportions? The one never been seen by human eyes? Sure, if you want to believe my Uncle Gustav. You tell me how a 15-foot rabbit could survive in Freeborn and never be seen by anyone. <laughs> Even the most paranoid among us couldn't begin to believe that one. I mean, where would it hide, right? What say we all get back to our lives, huh? In my case... That means doing laundry. Hey, Eugene, you're not going to use that weird new laundry detergent, are you? <laughs> the one that turns your skin green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm afraid of you turning me green. <laughs> Looks like I'm out of coins. Uh, give me a quarter, will you? Thanks. I owe you. Oh, 